This is Madeline Haley, Bill. She's Los Angeles Police Department. Hi. Oh, yeah. She had a hand in grabbing our two friends. You know, I've had men, good men, in Mexico for months tailing him, and then dead end. Pete Ritchie can smell an investigator a mile away. Yep, he's learned to be very leery of government men. How about government women? Say, that's a notion. Ritchie would never expect us to send a woman. I have a note here I made of an important point in the prosecution. Yeah, a very important point. Ritchie is a sucker for dames. Yes, that's it. Hey, um, what's Jacqueline Kirk doing now? No, she's not good-looking enough. See, Molly Dunstetter could be fine, only she got married and quit. What about June Michaels? Well, she's back with the Denver police force. They wouldn't let her go. Now, how about her? Yeah. Oh, Richie goes for tawdry, cheap-looking dames. Well, she could pass. What are we talking about? Narcotics enforcement never uses a woman on things like this. Yeah, I know, but we're sending her to Mexico anyway on an extradition matter. Uh, it's all right with the chief. Well, it might be an idea. Worth giving a thought to it. She might be able to pick up a few crumbs of information on Richie. You think you could handle this? Uh, no. During the war, she was in the OSS. Speaks a pretty good Mexican. Well, how do you spell your name? H A L E Y. shouldn't linger that smile be send me for a while all she would grant me was a smile a smile that 
detained me for a while. Long she stole my heart completely. Yes, that it's your girl she would do. And all the men in town were grinning because she stole in their hearts too. It seems she has stolen their hearts too. They were of eyes like pools of moonlight, of lips much redder than the wine. And of the devil who's an angel that waits across the borderline. That were rather than a wine. <laughs> this way, thing across the borderline. No, don't do that. No, not until I tell you. That's right. You do exactly as I tell you, and there'll be no problem. Well, we might be able to make it tonight. Yes. Cigarillos, por favor. Yes. Gracias. Wait until I contact you, will you? Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll talk to you later. Light. Give her a light. Get up to the room in case somebody calls in. Sure, boss, I understand. <laughs> What's the idea? Oh, I, I'm sorry. Try again. Unless you're afraid you'll get burnt. I've been burnt before. What's your hurry? Well, I got a... Hey, you're not so hard to look at. Mm -hmm. Finish a drink. And uh, why not one more? One for the road. Together.
You don't think we're being impolite. Oh, no. Drop in tomorrow. It's not like we're strangers. <laughs> You're very nice. You'll find me much nicer when you get to know me better. I like to know you better. What do you want, Macklin? You know what I want. I guess Harvey Gumbin sent you. How is Harvey? I've been trying to get in touch with him. Thought we might do a couple of deals. Catch up. Okay, you're tough. What's your angle? Harvey says you got a shipment going on. He says it clears the harbor tonight. Harvey says he wants it. You tell Harvey to... Uh-uh. The only thing I'm going to tell Harvey is what boat the stuff is on. But first, you've got to tell me. You won't talk, Al. How about giving him a little convincer? Some gunpowder on the arm. You light it, and sometimes it splits the skin wide open. That sounds good. You're trying to scare me, Johnny? Not you, Richie. Your hide's too tough. But I don't think the little lady there would hold still very long. She doesn't know anything. Who'd tell her? That's right. I mean, who would tell me? I, I don't know. How about you, Duzik? Pete don't tell me anything. He'll tell you that himself. Wrap him up.
Tell him, boss, will you? Tell him I don't know a thing. That's right, Dusik. You don't know a thing. You just tell us and save us all this trouble, Richie. You'd sell your life for a couple of stinking bucks, wouldn't you? Maybe you're selling yours, Macklin. The North Wind. She painted gray. <coughs> Tell her she painted gray. <laughs> How far offshore she anchored? She anchored up the kelp bed. That's right. That's right where she is. Works like truth, Sarah. Don't think oh no. Someday you're not going to be so lucky, Macklin. This is Macklin speaking. This is the tuna boat to the North Wind. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell him. Harvey says thanks. Anything you'd like to say to Harvey? He says don't mention it, Harvey. <laughs> See you later, partner. 